I started looking at uh, the victims of domestic abuse. So it turns out that uh, most people uh, who are being spied on in their lives are not being spied on by governments or law enforcement. They are being spied on by, uh, by stalkers or by exes or by people with whom they are currently in an abusive relationship. And one of our biggest problems with uh, sort of building a threat model for that is that companies often assume when they're locking down devices that if you have the username and the password and access to somebody's phone, that you have legitimate access to the person's account. And uh, abuse often involves access to all of these things at once. So now we need to completely you know, rethink our, our threat models, just in case we did not have enough to worry about. Uh, just to stick on that for a second before we get to John, um, you, you made a big uh, address about this at the Kaspersky conference a couple of months ago. Uh, companies, including Symantec and McAfee, said they're going to start taking this seriously. They're going to start alerting people. Are companies getting better about this? And is it complicated? Because presumably there are some situations where apps like this uh, have legitimate purposes. Well, I, to begin with, I wouldn't want uh, Symantec and McAfee to get uh, credit that they don't deserve. Neither of them made a statement. Um, the companies that did make statements were uh, Kaspersky, Lookout, and uh, Malwarebytes. Mm -hmm. So currently we have you know, sort of three companies on board. And uh, right now, since uh, we're just now kicking off both uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month and Cybersecurity Awareness Month, uh, and Halloween, mm -hmm. so just all the spooky <laughs> things at once. Um, <laughs> We, we are really working on getting the anti-virus uh, industry all on the same page to take uh, these threats a lot more seriously. Are there legitimate uses for this stuff? It depends on what you mean as a legitimate use and whether or not you're just talking about, like, is it strictly legal? Um, often uh, this software is uh, violating the law, um, but the real question is the law where? What jurisdiction are you in? Uh, state laws are all different, federal laws are all different, people exist in, in different countries. Um, the place where I have decided to draw the line is uh, software which is uh, sold commercially and is designed to, uh, to fool the user into thinking it's not there. Uh, so if, for example, you are a parent and you are concerned about uh, where your children are going and you want to see their text messages and you want to know where they are and you want to do some parenting, that's fine as long as you don't feel the need to install this, uh, uh, this software on their device, which leads them to believe they're not being watched. Um, so I, I just to clarify, Semantic and McAfee came from a follow-up article I did who said they were working on it. But again, don't want to give them mm. credit that they don't deserve nope. if they have not done anything since then.